it is now time to capture the geometry to the bones. So here we have the skeleton that we just created. There's the node along with the mirror node, and we have the geometry off to the side. We're going to go tab, joint capture by harmonic, place that into the network. We're going to feed the geometry into the first node, and the skeleton into the second and the third. Set the display flag, and as you can see, we already have um, weights being applied to the geometry. The Byron harmonic sets up a tet mesh, and that tet mesh is used to help set that up. So now we're going to put in a um, press the shift key, connect a bone to form into here. Now, in order for that to work, we're going to just move that node down. We're going to tab uh, rig pose. And we're going to put a rig pose on the third line. And that will allow us to test out the rotation of the joints and see how that affects uh, the geometry. So if we just pick one of these spine, we bend it, you see we've got some nice capture geometry there. So we can hide that version. Uh, so we can do that. We can bend it forward, try, let's say, the leg, make sure the leg's working there. So at this point, you can use this rig pose to just test um, everything. And then you can make edits later um, using paint interface or, or other methods. Um, but now you get a sense of what, what's possible uh, with the capture we have here, which is a fairly straightforward one.